I brought this shape out just to sort of have something to look at and work towards because when I'm working in clay I either have a drawing or something or an object that I am looking at while I'm working. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm not trying to replicate it, but I'm trying to use it to, for inspiration and reference. So I'm going to start out with the bottom of this piece because the it's a flat bottom here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, take the clay and oh, make an air pocket in the middle. I'm going to try copying you and make a teeny tiny oh, version. Oh, a teeny tiny version. <laughs> okay, there you go. I've actually done that with students before. <laughs> Worked with a small amount of clay trying to create something. Mm -hmm. Will my fingerprints still, if I were to like actually make this, would my fingerprints like actually come out in the pottery? Yeah, it, really? your fingerprints do. And what's so cool about making things by hand rather than throwing on the wheel, which is a wonderful way to work also, mm -hmm. is that this is, this is your identity in making the piece. Yeah. The fingerprints that come through in the end are you. So that's a wonderful part of uh, working in ceramics and hand building. Mm -hmm. And I am going to make the base round. You know, notice I, I don't really care the scale of this piece. Yeah. So I'm not measuring anything. I'm just um, working with the clay. And I've been working in, the, in clay since 1968. So I have a lot of experience and sometimes people go, how do you do that? You, you do it so easily. Well, I think when you work with the material that long, it makes it very easy yeah. to, to know the material and to be able to um, use it in a manner that makes it look very simple. Mm -hmm. But it's really years and years of experience. So I'm going to start, this is going to, I'm going to build this piece with a coil method. Okay. So this is a basic method of working in clay. There's hand building methods which we have coil slab and pinch mm -hmm. I think a lot of people make pinch pots when they're little in school and that's a I still use the pinch method in my work is this the pinch method what you're doing this is a coil okay what's the pinch and this method? when you take a ball of clay mm -hmm. and you oh, shape it by with, pinching by pinching it like this Oh. And that's when I'm teaching, that's the first project we do, is we pinch the clay. After we've mixed it by hand. I mm -hmm. have my students mix clay out of raw materials, so you have an appreciation. Then when you go to the store, or we sell it in um, on campus, uh -huh. and so it's already there in the bag, ready to use. And is this going to be like the handlebar part? No, I'm going to start out with the base. I'm going to build this up a little bit, and then I'm going to start coming out with the bowl shape. I want to come up just a little bit for a foot. You know, we look at vessels, and all these vessels have uh, are described like the human body. So uh -huh. I guess in a way, maybe I do make figures. Um, bodies are containers, vessels are containers. You know, vessels have bellies. This is the foot. Um, they, this is a shoulder, belly, shoulder. This is the lip. So we look at vessels and relate, relate to them like the human form. This is um, clay that is called clay slip. It's the same porcelain clay that's just mixed with water into sort of a slop. But it's the glue that kind of binds the clay together. And what I'm doing now is scoring. This is called scoring. So it just makes a better bond between the clay uh -huh. when you join it together. Okay. We would try to create like, these pieces that were like a work of art, in a way. Yeah. You know, and I wanted it all the way around, from design to how it was produced and just put together. But probably the most important of my art figures is Toby.